part of the Tesla ownership journey is getting all of the most sought after and cool accessories for your Tesla. I've owned a long range Model Y for over a year now and my performance Model Y for roughly 6 months and it was a great experience knowing which accessories to get for the performance since I had a little extra experience with the long range. Some of these accessories I'd already known about and consider them essentials but there were quite a few new ones that I was able to experiment with and fully test and concluded that there are some accessories that are absolutely necessary for when you purchase a Tesla. This won't be the same old boring video you see that goes over mud flaps, screen protectors, and things like that. Rather, in this video I'll be sharing with you all my favorite Tesla accessories and the ones that are essentials for all Tesla owners. I bought every item in this video myself and this is not a sponsored video and every single link to the accessories I'll be going over will be in the description below in the exact order of when I talked about them. So sit back, relax, and let's get into this video. Now before we get in, I just wanted to let you all know that I did make another accessories video a little over a year ago, and I'll link that video in the description for you to check out. The accessories in that video were some of my favorite ones and I still use them to this day. The side storage compartments on a Tesla are very useful and spacious. One of my favorite accessories are these trunk storage bins. These bins help keep your trunk organized and clean. The waterproof rubber bins slip into the left and right trunk cavities allowing you to store shoes, tools, gear, and some other items that might otherwise dirty your trunk's interior. The matching carpeted lids blend seamlessly into the trunk for expanded floor space and cargo area. The material of the covers feel just like the sub-trunk cover so it's no issue getting everything to match and be level. The next accessory is these air vent covers. I consider these as very important because it prevents leaves, dust, and debris from getting down into the air ventilation filter. As you can see, it's wide open and around it has a quite a bit of debris. If you get small items in there like Lego pieces or even rocks, it may lead to a rattling noise coming from there. Then you would have to take it to Tesla for them to remove this rattling noise, and I believe they charge for this specific service because it's due to user error. So as a peace of mind, get these air ventilation covers to prevent small things from accidentally getting stuck in the vents. The next thing is paint protection film. There are two different types of paint protection film I installed on my Model Y Performance. The first is a traditional front bumper and hood PPF. I got a DIY PPF kit from Amazon and I installed it myself and saved roughly $1,500 to $2,000 by not taking it to a shop to get it done. I get the same protection from rock chips and road debris and it was a fun experiment to do on my end. The other form of PPF I've installed is on the rear door. This is something that often gets overlooked since people are just concerned and focused on the front PPF. It's important to get PPF for their lower rear doors since rocks can get kicked up from the front tires and chip your paint. I fell victim to this and got some rock chips on my Model Y. I actually made a video showing how to fill in the rock chips with Tesla's paint repair kit and I also applied PPF in that video. I'll link it in the description for you to check out if you're interested. But at the very least, I recommend you get PPF installed at least on the front bumper since it's a high impact area and it's prone to getting the most damage while you're driving. The links to both DIY PPF kits are of course linked below in the description. Arguably one of the most important accessories are floor mats. There are a plethora of options to choose from on the internet and they can get a bit overwhelming at a certain point. The industry leader is 3D Max Spider. I made a video where I did an in-depth review on these floor mats and why they're my favorite. I'll link that video in the description for you to check out, but briefly these floor mats are lightweight, durable, odorless, and anti-slip. They check all of the boxes of having the best floor mats and to top it off they can be washed very easily. They did not sponsor this specific video, but they did send me these mats a while back and that's when I made the video where I went in depth on them. I can truly say these are in my opinion the best floor mats you can get for your Tesla and that's why I've included them in this video. You can save $10 off your order by using the code 10 Tesla mat at checkout. If you're using a public charger that's not a Tesla charging cable, you've probably had to use this J1772 adapter. It's great for when you're out on the road, but one of the scenarios you surely have to deal with are people unplugging your car while it's charging. Why? Well, the J1772 adapter does not lock to the plug of chargers. Unlike how it does while you're using a mobile connector, the Tesla wall connector, or supercharging. Charging on public networks can take hours. We endure it patiently knowing it's all for a fully charged car on the way home. But imagine this, leaving your car charged for hours only to find the charging cable unplugged. The solution is this J1772 charging lock. It works easily with a slip on and off function while also preventing the power plug from being removed from the adapter. The adapter plug protects you from removals from your Tesla while you're charging. Another accessory that I really like and use on a daily basis is this retractable cargo cover. It adds an extra layer of privacy to your rear trunk since it's a hatchback design. It enables you to protect your luggage and other valuables from prying eyes or simply retract the cargo cover for a seamless look when not in use. 
I found it super easy to install with four custom molded and form fitting mounts that adhere to the factory panels for an OEM look. This is another accessory that I highly recommend since it has an important use function for privacy and keeping your valuables safe. A must have accessory is a Tesla mobile connector. Even if you've never used it or use it to only charge at home, it's a must have to include in your Tesla for when you're out on the road. Sometimes things happen and you may not be close to a supercharger or you may not make it home in time with enough juice left. I like to keep mine stored under the second hidden compartment in the trunk. It doesn't take too much space and I frankly don't use this compartment all that often. So it's good to keep this as a backup in your car. While we're on the topic of must haves, the next one is something that I also keep next to the mobile connector. It's these jack pads. When lifting your Tesla with a car jack, if you don't do it the right way, you can really mess up the battery. This is because the jack points on a Tesla are dangerously close to a very expensive battery pack. It would be like lifting an internal combustion engine vehicle by its gas tank. Another thing to keep in mind is that the damage caused by lifting is not covered by the warranty. These jack pads provide a safe, non-slip barrier between your Tesla and the jack, so you can lift your car without damaging the battery pack or side skirt. Quite possibly, one of my favorite accessories is this armrest cover. It's an aesthetic upgrade along with a really good function. It prevents you from scratching up the armrest. And for the ladies, this is an excellent accessory since placing a purse on the armrest or reaching in the back seat for one can scratch up the armrest. This armrest cover mitigates any potential scratches to the armrest. It also kind of makes the interior look a little more sporty and aggressive. It just slides onto the armrest and there's no sort of modification required. When you want to wash it or clean it, it easily comes off. Tesla no longer includes center console and center armrest trays in their vehicles. I didn't realize how much I needed them until I got them. The center console is very spacious and lets you fit a lot of things in here. The only problem is that your items can get all mixed up and move around while you're driving. The center console tray is a perfect solution to that. You can place your items in here that you need on a regular basis on the top, and the best part is that it slides back and forth, letting you still access a lower portion for larger items. While on the topic of trays, the next one is this armrest tray. It's the same concept as a center console tray, it fits right in and you can organize your items better, and you don't have to hear them sliding all over the place. It also has a cutout for the 12 volt plug, so that's a huge plus. To top it off for the armrest, there's also this hidden storage compartment this specific set comes with. It's good for storing items that you want to keep out of sight and out of the glove box, and you still want to access them easily. It sticks in with some 3M tape and can simply slide it up and down to access whatever you put here. These trays and this hidden storage insert make organizing your items in your Tesla much better, and you no longer have to hear your things sliding all over the place while you're driving. The next item is this cup holder insert. I really like the cup holder insert because it's a two-in-one. The first is obviously because it holds your cup better and it can prevent beverage spillage. And if you do spill your drink a little, there's no need to worry since this cup holder insert comes easily out and you can wash it down. The next reason why I like it is because of this sort of mini storage for either small items or coins or just simply small trash. This also comes out for you to easily wash it down or clean it. It's always a good idea to keep a sunshade in your car, especially in the summertime. It helps keep out a lot of heat when considering you're surrounded by glass in a Tesla. The front sunshade provides the best light rejection and heat rejection without the insane cost of tinting your front windshield. It's very easy to put up and it does not take up that much space. And this is how it looks like from the outside. It looks very sleek and it just fits the overall aesthetic of a Tesla. When you're out supercharging or just out on the road charging in general, it may feel that sitting around is a waste of time. After a while of watching some streaming services or playing around with the onboard Tesla video games, it can seem like you're wasting some time. You've probably tried to get some work done, but it's not ergonomically comfortable in the car. The solution to this is this desk attachment that allows you to work on your laptop or tablet while you're out charging or just simply parked anywhere. It's very easy to place in between the steering wheel and it'll make the charging time just go that much quicker. Of course, no Tesla accessories video will not be complete without briefly mentioning some honorable mentions of the most common essentials. These include mud flaps, a screen protector, and maybe some carbon fiber aesthetic upgrades if you're looking for a different look. As I mentioned earlier, everything will be in the description below as I have handpicked and tested every accessory to ensure they are useful and they are high quality for your Tesla. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful for accessories for your Tesla, drop a like and hit that subscribe button. Also, comment some of your favorite accessories for your Tesla and any other ones that you recommend. As always, thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.